Hey there, friends. It is a beautiful day in Franklin, Tennessee, and I am so glad you took time to watch today. We are getting the opportunity to talk to a couple of actors who are in a brand new series on Pure Flix about to be released called Saved by Grace. This is the story of two angels from heaven who are sent on mission from the Lord to help people. And so I'm really looking forward to this conversation, and I hope that you are too. My name is Jean Thomason, and this is Momentum Influencers Network. And we are back as promised with these two amazing actors that I want to introduce to you. We have both Jennifer Taylor and Cameron Arnett, who are the lead actors in this brand new series coming up on Pure Flix called Saved by Grace. Now, I have already watched three of the episodes, so I don't want to be too much, um, I don't want to give too much away, but I'm super excited for you to you two to be with me and all our viewers today with Momentum Influencers Network, and we want you to tell us about this new series. So why don't we just, I'll just say, Jennifer, take it away. Talk to us about what you love about Saved by Grace. Oh, wow. Um, there's so much to love. Um, first of all, I get to work with Cameron, which was amazing. Um, I just love Saved by Grace, the whole the whole premise. It's um you're just driven by the emotions the whole time and the fact that there's these these people who are going through you know just life and hard times and they basically they say a prayer they they need help and god sends angels to to help and intervene and um and i just love that the 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 two characters uh, grace and jeremiah they just have such a heart for people and their mm -hmm. humanity yeah, and I, I think it's wonderful too. Like like uh, Jennifer said, you know, we got an opportunity to meet each other and to work together, and the synergy is so wonderful. Um, I love working with Jennifer because you know she brings, you know, not only the uh, the the vibrance of the role, but you know the humanity a as a person that um, that she was just able to collaborate with. But you know, like she said, you know, you're you're dealing with people's lives, and I think what happens with with Saved by Grace is we get an opportunity to see in visual form what really God is doing in our lives on an everyday basis. And I think that what I what I hope that people get out of this is that this is happening every day and that they need to, to take uh, advantage of what God is providing and these angels. We need to take advantage of what God is uh, uh, giving and, and it, what, a, what a great thing for us to be able to represent and to, and to show what God is doing. I'm so grateful for this whole series and the idea because the Bible is very clear that the scriptures say, are they or not all ministering spirits and they are sent to aid those of us who are who who believe and are children of faith and and we believe that there are angels who assist us, but but maybe not really. You know, it's like because we can't see it, we can't really we can't really grasp the reality of it. I love the way both of these characters um, move in and out of lives. I love how Grace. Sometimes you say, "Hi, I'm an angel." <laughs> That's so great, and because the reactions are priceless from the people who like roll their eyes and say, "Oh, right." Or sometimes you don't. Sometimes you just walk up and you know something about them and how kind is it that um, the Lord is always on our side. He's always near to us. He's um, near to the brokenhearted. He saves those who are crushed in spirit. So um, talk to me about how it felt to, to, to be one of those, those, um, those angels that, that you say, I'm on assignment from the Lord. I loved that part. For me, just the practical side of getting to do this part, it's like answered prayer, being able to, um, to work in part of a production that is furthering the kingdom. Uh, that's amazing. As far as the characters, I love how, um, it's different for each person. So some people need to know that we're angels and some people don't need to know. Um, but there's always also a little thing is each of them asks, they don't always ask outright, but some of them, it's just even just a look up or God help me just whispered under their breath and, and that he answers. And, mm -hmm. um, you know, just seeing that played out is, is just, I think just really beautiful. I love the way, um, Jeremiah's character says, 
God has a plan. God has a reason. And, um, and regardless of what your character was and how, how fun was that for you to, um, Cameron, for you to play both a homeless man and then, of course, I watched you drive that Ferrari. I'm sure that was a lot of fun for you. I mean, how I, that was kind of very cool that you got to play not the same, I mean, like a different character. Talk about that. Yeah, you know, it, it's, it's great, you know, as an actor, first of all, you know, you get an opportunity to jump into all these different roles, you know, so it's 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 a lot of fun. And the fact that we're working opposite of each other, you know, um, the joy is always on the set and the joy is in every character and we're having a lot of fun. But to be able to uh, to know that, you know, um, you can partake in all of this, you, you can, uh, you know, angels are going to be, uh, um, are going to manifest themselves in our lives from every aspect of life, from every echelon of life. And that's why we're, we're told by scripture, you know, you, 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 ha you have to be hospitable to all strangers. It doesn't say only to the homeless, it doesn't say only to the rich, it says to all strangers so that you don't miss out on what God is doing. And what happens is whoever you may be in your life, that doesn't mean that somebody, that God is not going to use someone who's a, on a different echelon of life in your life to give you help. And so you have to be open to that and not um, have a stereotype of what where that help can, can come from and what the people can look like. Yes. All right. I talk for just a minute about the theme of forgiveness because that seemed to be an overarching, you know, all the people are struggling with not feeling that they're worthy and yet mm -hmm. you constantly talk to them about God will forgive you. Well, you know, forgiveness is, is, a, is a theme of life, period. You know, we have to understand that God has forgiven us. Mm -hmm. You know, in Christ, we're new creations. God has forgiven us. He does not uh, consider our sins. He does not consider, you know, those things that we've gone through. He considers his love for us, the blood of Jesus, you know, the fact that we are now encapsulated within him. And that's all that matters. Mm -hmm. And if we can just, for, for any moment in time, realize that when God the Father looks at us, he sees Jesus, not, you know, our past, not right. our problems, um, then what he wants to, to, to give to us, what he wants to do for us becomes just, you know, natural. Um, it, it, be, it becomes, you know, something that we are entitled to in a sense of mm -hmm. we're, we're sons of the king, we're sons of the father, um, mm -hmm. daughters of the father. And so I, I think that that forgiveness is something that we need to see how it how it how it plays out and also it, it emboldens us it's, it encourages us to to not only receive it but also to give it out to other people i think it's also Beautiful. it's something you need to be reminded of of daily every day he has forgiven us not only do we have to forgive others but i think there's some of some of the characters that you have like people need to forgive themselves of things mm -hmm. so oh so god can forgive us of our sins but I can't forgive myself. <laughs> that just, that doesn't work. <laughs> yeah. But we get the spiritual amnesia. We literally need to, that's why we need to be in the word every day or else you, you, it just goes away. Okay, I noticed that you like ice cream. So is that just something? <laughs> is that is that a personal thing, or is that something that they really wanted Jeremiah to? Wow, uh... <laughs> you know, I don't know. I don't know if I'll ever ever live that one down. Um, <laughs> you know, I I love the character because again, you 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 he's an angel, but he's allowed to have a few of these human traits that he's kind of discovering. And it, it brings out the, the whole humor. Uh, um, um, he, he has a, an understanding of who they are. And uh, one of the things for me is now, now I love to eat. <laughs> <laughs> now I love food. And yeah. so it, it, it brings out some, some crazy little antics and, 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 and uh, um, issues in this. And, and ice cream is just one of those yeah. things that I'm overtaken by. <laughs> <laughs> That's so fun. When, a lot of times my husband and I, as we're praying and or talking, I'm always thanking the Lord for my taste buds. So you did that. <laughs> yes, he that did. That was good. He did that. <laughs> that was great. I just, I felt like that made the, you know, the characters more, uh, more, more human, more believable, mm -hmm. and that, mm -hmm. that you just, you stepped out of heaven and you stepped into our world, just like Jesus did. Yeah. And, um, 
That's and right. so what what this is I I feel like this series is a great gift to to whoever will take the time to watch it because I I really believe that it just brings the the idea of God helping us it, mm -hmm. into into the reality that it actually could be this way. So do you have any final thing like what do you feel like the the writers, the directors, everybody what what do you, what did they hope is the takeaway for people who watch the series? Well, I think what the the, the very thing is hope. The very mm. thing is, you know, to awaken to the fact that you're not alone. You're never alone. Uh, uh, God is always there. He never leaves you nor forsakes you. But also, He has agents that are His that He's sent out just for your help, just for you. And I I, I think to wake up to that kind of hope, to that realization. Um, takes a, a burden off of people's shoulders and realize that that the, actually God is is proactively there to help them and um, it allows them to breathe and and I think for us as actors it allows us to breathe because we get an opportunity to do this not not only be given His gifts and talents but to use our talents and and uh, in order to honor Him and and to tell people that He's in love with them and I don't, I don't think there's anything better. Amen to that, as Grace would say. Amen, Amen to that. I, I That's can't, so good. I can't touch that. That's, yes, <laughs> ditto. Okay. <laughs> Well, we are excited. I'm excited. I'm excited to tell people about this on Pure Flix coming very soon, available for you on Pure Flix. And, and um, already there are, how many episodes are there already finished, y'all? Um, five. So five. season one is five. The, um, I heard they're going to, it's going to, the first two episodes are going to air November 6th. Okay. And then the next week, the, the second three episodes they will they will air good well i'm gonna pray with you that they renew the series and yes have please pray another season <laughs> please, that is great ten thank seasons. you i want 10 seasons of Saved all right Grace. 10 seasons at least 10 <laughs> seasons i think we can believe for that i i think people are good i think people are hungry for this and they don't even know it yet yeah i so. i think they really are I, I think they are. Thank you so much, Jennifer. Thank you so much, Cameron. We are thank blessed you. and honored to have you with us today. And thank you for using your gifts and abilities, as you said, to um, bring honor and glory to the Lord and to help people know better who he is and how much he loves us and wants to be near us and offer his forgiveness through Jesus. And you Amen. are doing that. God bless you. Thank you for from me and from all the Momentum Influencers. And we hope to see you again soon. Bye. God bless. Thank you.